So, in this short tutorial I want to show you how to use the batch stitcher in Video Stitcher Studio. Let's assume you already created your panorama like this and you're happy with the result. You head over to the process tab, set all the settings here and here, and then you can either process now, which will start processing or stitching your panorama right away, or you click send to batch, which will ask you to save a new file. I will simply call this batch. No worries, one. It's alright. And this opens up the batch stitcher. There is another way to do that without um, opening up Video Stitch Studio. Let's close it. We head over to the uh, Studio folder under Programs, Stitcher, and Studio. The same folder where you'll find the Video Stitch Studio executable. There is the Batch Stitcher. We open it up and it opens without a file. Let's head over to a folder where we have some files here. And I can simply select all the files I want, drag them here, and as soon as I click Stitch, it will start processing all of the um, Video Studio, Studio files uh, right away. So that's useful if you want to uh, render a couple of panoramas overnight or um, yeah, if you don't have time right now but want to stitch them at a certain time, you can simply use the batch stitcher. Yeah, well, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have a question, please just ask in the comments or uh, drop us a message and we'll see what we can do.